city life began in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia's writing system and literature spread to the eastern Mediterranean, northern Syria, and Turkey after 2000 BC, so that the kingdoms of that entire region were writing to one another and to the pharaoh of Egypt in the language and script of Mesopotamia. Here we shall explore the connection between city life and writing and then look at some outcomes of the sustained tradition of writing. Dear students, we are going to start chapter number 2 of class 11 history, writing and city life. Have a look into the chapter. Welcome to the chapter second, writing and city life. This is about the ancient Mesopotamia. Have you heard about Mesopotamia? Have you heard about the civilization? What is the meaning of civilization? Civilization means Sabhyada. You must have heard about the Sindhu Ghati Sabhyada because India is also a part of this uh, civilization. Sindhu Ghati Sabhyada means Indus Valley Civilization. That you have heard. Next year we are going to learn this uh, civilization, Indus Valley Civilization. So this year we are focusing into the Mesopotamian Civilization. Number of civilizations uh, are uh, uh, discovered in, in the world. Egyptian Civilization near the river valleys. Uh, Nile River, Nile River, and uh, uh, Mesopotamian civilization, Indus Valley civilization, Vedic civilization, uh, like the most number of civilizations. All these civilization, this is flourished or started near the river valleys. As I told you that uh, uh, Egyptian civilization that, start, that started near the river Nile, Indus Valley civilization started near the river Indus or Sindhu. And the Vedic, our own civilization, India civilization, started near the river Saraswati. And we are going to study about this civilization, Mesopotamian civilization. All these civilizations, why they started near the river valleys? Because people started to settle in these places because they wanted to domesticate the animals and they cultivate the fields, plants, etc. And they, they wanted to grow the plants, etc. So for that they need water and that time uh, pipe as well as tank was not there. So they need the water, river water only. Water is essential for the survival of the human kinds. That is why they use this, they choose this uh, river valleys. All the civilizations are uh, near the river valleys only. And see, this Mesopotamia, this is the in Western Asia only. Present, it comprises the present day countries, which are the countries Iraq, Syria, Tur Turkey, Iran, Kuwait, etc. And this uh, uh, Mesopotamia, the word Mesopotamia derived from two Greek words. One is the Mesos. Mesos means middle. And second is Potamus. What is the meaning of Potamus? Potamus means river. See, Mesos, middle, Potamus, river, which means a land between two rivers. A land between two rivers. So, meaning of Mesopotamia means a land between two rivers. So, this land is so fertile also, right? Uh, that river concon, see which are the two rivers, Euphrates and the Tigris. Europe, uh, Egyptian civilization, Nile. Indus Valley Civilization, Inda, River Indus or Sindhu. Vedic Civilization, River Saraswati. Mesopotamian Civilization, Rivers, Tigris and uh, Euphrates. These are the two rivers, right? And uh, this Mesopotamia was known for its writing, city life, trade, literature, mathematics and uh, astronomy is were very famous. It's why this uh, place was so famous for all these. So many trades conducted, trade conducted, writing also started. Four city, four city in Mesopotamia, they started city also. They developed city also in Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia only and uh, mathematics, astronomy also, astronomical knowledge also they derived from this area. 
right and uh, uh, in the beginning the land was called sumer sumer and akkadian along the sumerians we can say and uh, sumers sumerian then akkadians came and akkadian language also use totally these people you see sumerians akkadians babylonians assyrians and this is babylonia babylonia is a place where the uh, was the uh, southern region and uh, but this assyrians assyrians the assyria assyria was a region on the north and when assyrians established their kingdom there and uh, many people came and uh, last alexander also invaded 336 alexander before that all these three people sumerians first called us sumerians and uh, land also called us sumer uh, sumer or sumerians then babylonians then uh, akkadians sorry uh, sumerians akkadians babylonians and the assyrians right these are the uh, sections those, those who uh, ruled over this place so and the language which were used uh, in this area that were sumerian sumerian language akkadian language and uh, aramic aramic language you have you heard about this aramic language aramic aramic is the language in which the jesus christ believed it is believed that jesus christ used to speak uh, to the ordinary people right aramic it is similar to uh, hebrew hebrew the language still prevalent in iraq aaj bhi iraq mein log hebrew language mein baat karte hain and this is similar to Ara aramic is also similar to hebrew Jesus Christ इसी language में local normal corner ordinary people से बात करते थे ये कहता है right and uh, <coughs> Mesopotamian archaeological archaeological uh, this uh, archaeology that was started in uh, 1840 1840 and uh, excavators मतलब uh, two sites uh, like uh, Uruk and Mari excavated for decades not a single Indian site ever seen such a long term projects so many years took to find out the things and they got a lot of they got the sources what are the sources sources also they want to understand about this uh, civilization they got a lot of sources hundreds of uh, buildings hundreds of statues ornaments and graves tools seals thousands of uh, uh, this uh, written documents that also they received right and this mesopotamia that is uh, very important for the europeans i told you this is in the west asia western asia right and europeans was keen interest show interest in this mesopotamia why because this place that was referred in their old testament old testament means the first part of the bible बाइबल का जो ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट है न्यू टेस्टामेंट भी होता है ओल्ड टेस्टमेंट में इसके बारे में सपोटा के बारे में इंडिकेट किया रफर किया है एंड सी बुक ऑफ जेनेसिस ऑफ द ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट रफर्स शिमर शिमर मीन्स सुमर द लैंड ऑफ ब्रिक सिटीज सो द लैंड ऑफ ब्रिक सिटीज सुमर के बारे में उसमें मैंशन किया दैट इज वाई द पीपल ऑफ यूरोप दे आर टोटली फैसिनेटिंग एंड अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्स दिस मेसपटोमिया and the travelers and the scholars of uh, from europe they considered this place as their ancient land because of this right the ancient land samajhte hain so uh, when archaeological work began in this area there was an attempt to prove the literal truth of the old testament that means europeans they they have an interest they show interest because they wanted to show that uh, the truth of the old testament that means they wanted to show that there is a biblical connection with the mesopotamia as i told you that they, they are they believe the scholars and the travelers believe this area is their ancient land so archaeological uh, as that archaeological work started they started to the let me see can they say that uh, an attempt also started from the european side because they wanted to show the truths there is some biblical connection with the uh, mesopotamia right in 1873 a british newspaper funded an expedition of the british museum to search for a tablet narrating the story of the flood 
मैंशन द बैब बैबि में एक स्टोरी मेन्शन किया है फ्लड के बारे में एंड देर वॉज अ स्ट्राइकिंगली सिमिलर स्टोरी इन मैपोर्ट ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूशन उसके बारे में तो उसको और बिलीव हो गया मीन्स आपका क्या बोलेंगे यूरोपियंस को बिकॉज सम रिलेशन बिटवीन द यूरोप एंड मीन्स द क्रिस्टनिटी एज वेल एज मेसोपोटोमिया अब स्टोरी क्या है फ्लड का आपको पता है आपको भी पता है स्टोरी के बारे में जो बाइबल में स्टोरी डिपेक्ट किया है कि ईश्वर ने सारे जो दुनिया को ख़त्म करने मीन्स लाइफ खत्म करने वाला फ्लड आ गया बिकॉज जब अन्याय बढ़ बढ़ जाता है है ना तब इसी तरह कुछ ना कुछ नेचुरल कलामिटीज़ आ जाता है तो उस कलामिटीज़ में सब कुछ ख़त्म होने वाला था सब ईश्वर हे सेलेक्टेड वन पर्सन दैट इज नोआ नोआ को बोल दिया कि यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट और कलेक्ट अ पेयर ऑफ ईच मतलब वन पेयर ऑफ द लिविंग बींग्स बर्ड्स हो गया एनिमल्स हो गया है ना इंसान हर जीव जीव जंतु को धरती में उसको वन पेयर को कलेक्ट करना है उसके बाद बड़ा सा एक नाव बनाया था मीन्स एक बोर्ड बनाया उसके अंदर सबको रख दिया इवन सबको स्नैक हो गया बर्ड्स हो गया कैमल हो गया एलिफेंट हो गया जितना भी जो आपका जीव जंतु सबको कलेक्ट कर दिया बिकॉज गॉड वॉन्ट टू सेव वन मतलब एक्सटेंड स्पीशीज सो वन स्पीशीज को वन पेयर को संभाल के रखा है एंड फ्लड में सब कुछ खत्म हो गया एंड दिस नोआ का जो बोट बच गया उसके बाद नया लाइफ शुरू हो गया नया स्पीशीज आ गया स्पीशीज तो हुई है उसमें से आगे वंश पड़ गया ये स्टोरी है द सिमिलर स्टोरी इसमें भी है स्ट्राइकिंगली सिमिलर स्टोरी इन दर्ट ऑफ ट्रेडिशन ऑल्सो बट इन दाई द नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज इट वॉज अंडरस्टूड दैट द स्टोरीज ऑफ द ऑल टेस्टामेंट्स वेर नॉट लिटरली ट्रू बट मे हैव बीन ऑलवेज बी एक्सप्रेसिंग मेमरीज अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट चेंजेस इन हिस्ट्री राइट और लेट एस मूव इन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द मेसपटोमिया एंड इट्स अ geography thank you dears i forgot to say one thing uh, to you about it uh, this uh, ziyusudra ziyusudra means sir uh, and yahan pe kyun likha hai because i talk about the story of uh, biblical story of flood isn't it a biblical story of flood usme character kon tha noah ha huh? god uh, opted this uh, or selected noah for the uh, savior or the uh, of the uh, species so but in the uh, similar tradition was in the mesopotamia also but the principal character was totally different so story same but character was different character ka naam tha aapka siyudra right i forgot to uh, talk about this anyway <coughs> now this is a question time after every topic i will ask some question to you you please note down these questions and uh, write the answers so try try to find out the answers from the textbook only make a copy also Uh, register one register also if you having the all register that is very best you can utilize that else uh, you have to purchase one and uh, do this and uh, <coughs> questions every after every uh, video i will give the questions right you have to learn also so first question what was the first non language of the land law of the land means mesopotamia pala language kon se kar ke right second language is uh, where is mesopotamia you can collect the answers okay where is mesopotamia the third question is name the language which is similar to hebrew hebrew ka similar language kaun si hai main likha tha aapko yes hmm alamaik ye aapko pata hai next when and where did archaeological work begin in mesopotamia kab shuru hua tha na 1840 where ये आपको पता है कहां पर है उरुक एंड मारी एंड नेक्स्ट इज वाई मेसोपोटामी वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द यूरोपियंस वो तो मैंने डिफरेंट वे में बता दिया वाई द यूरोपियंस आर टोटली फैसिनेटेड अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्स दिस मेसोपोटामिया व्हाट वॉज द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट आपको पता है न्यू टेस्टामेंट के बारे में बता सॉरी ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट के बारे में बताएंगे एंड वॉट वाट इज दिबिल बाइबल डिपिक्ट अबाउट फ्लड्स वो आपका बुक में साइड में जो आपका दिया हुआ है वो आप पढ़ना ठीक है बिब्लिकल स्टोरी है नौ के बारे में उसने जो बोट बनाया उसमें स्पीशीज को रखा है और फ्लड आ गया पूरा डिस्ट्रक्शन हो गया ये बेच गया ये सारे स्टोरी आपको बताना राइट एंड नेक्स्ट इज दैट व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म मेसपोटोमिया सिंपल सी है मेसपोटोमिया मीन्स इट मेड अप ऑफ टू ग्रीक वर्ड्स मीसोस एंड पोटामस मेसोस मीन्स मिडिल पोटामस मीन्स रिवर दट मीन्स लैंड बिटवीन टू रिवर्स दैट यू कैन से 
राइट टू इम्पोर्टेंट साइट सबसे पहले सिविलेशन के टू साइट्स राइट इसको भी बोल सकता है कौन कौन सी साइट निकाला करके सो दिस मेनी क्वेश्चन जो है टू राइट सिंपल है दिस मेनी क्वेश्चन जो है टू राइट अंडर राइट आंसर्स आल्सो ओनली वन मार्क और टू वन मार्क क्वेश्चन ओनली हाँ क्वेश्चन पार्ट एंड आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर पार्ट एंड भी आई विल डिस्कस विद यू Mostly <coughs> last year onwards the change हो गया ट्वेंटी एम आर का एम सी क्यूज एम नॉट ओनली एम सी क्यू एम सी क्यू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स मैथ द फॉलोइंग टू ऑफ फोल्ड्स एवरी थिंग ट्वेंटी मार्क्स राइट ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप देन आपका थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फाइव मार्क सॉरी एट मार्क क्वेश्चन एंड इन हिस्ट्री द ब्लेसिंग इज दैट यू यू विल गेट थ्री सोर्स क्वेश्चन सोर्स क्वेश्चन मीन्स टॉपिक फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक and based on that question will ask like a comprehension in english right but uh, english comprehension they say ki jo uh, different uh, matter nahi denge they will give the matter for the test book only so uh, mostly the sources sources are there uh, in the test book also each uh, chapter is having a lot of number of sources blue box a pink box like that these sources you have to read and question also i will give you also and uh, based on that sources only uh, will come questions and the question uh, from that only for that you have to read the chapters like okay, clearly chapter read karna then only you are able to write the answers also also right so source three to sources milega near about 17 mark 18 mark ka hai uh lekin ab iska mohge 15 mark ka hai so i will give the marks part in to you ye aapko milega right then eight mark question long answer type questions honge history mein eight mark questions hai wo bhi aapko karna hai okay aaj ka aaj ke liye itna hai uh, next class mein i will uh, continue with the next topic